Okay, you guys. Like, I know it's called Coca-Cola palette. You know, it's Coca-Cola everything in here. But, it's Pepsi up in here, okay? We don't do no Coca-Cola. Hola mis serenitas, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Chiquita Serenita and today we're doing a tutorial, swatches, and a review of Morphe's Coca-Cola collection. Now, you guys saw that I had the Coca-Cola from my, I believe it was number two collection video, number two or three, I think it was two. And I had told you guys that I had received the palette, but I hadn't received the brush set or the lip the lip gloss so this one I ordered on the 18th the day of launch day and I received this one on the 24th but I did not receive the rest of the stuff until like three days ago literally so it took almost an entire month it literally sat in San Leandro California for two weeks 14 days almost 15 by the time it made it here in Sacramento so freaking frustrating I'm not even kidding about that whole thing it's like what i was so close to like who do i talk to how do i submit a claim but they said that if you can't submit a claim if it's or if it's still technically in transit i know right bs right <laughs> whatever let's just do um so i want to do lip swatches for you guys before i will look in the description box if you guys are interested in swatches in the palette you can just, just skip to that part if that's what you're here for I'm going to do lip swatches first of the lip glosses. So this is the lip gloss set. I didn't buy everything from this collection. Obviously, I didn't buy the highlighters. I'm not interested in loose highlighters. I don't like them. They tend to be very glittery. And if I want it to be very glittery, I would just use that um, eyeshadow that was flaking off like crazy. <laughs> I'm going to start with the lightest shade and we'll just move on from there. This one is a silver. It looks like a silver. It has all these iridescent shimmers in there. This one's called Overflow. So these are all glosses. I don't expect any of them to have pigment except for the last three. But this one, I don't think it's going to have it. No, it's not going to have any pigment. Ooh, it's gold. It does have a scent to it, but it's not like Coca-Cola scent. <laughs> if anybody's wondering. Yeah, it's like. I don't know how to say it. it's like a sweet scent it's not like it doesn't smell like anything that I recognize but it just has clear glow gold glitter throughout that's all you see is gold glitter you can feel the shimmers a tiny bit not a huge um, it's not like a huge difference and there's no stickiness very smooth very comfortable um, I never had any problem with Morphe lip gloss formula actually I actually enjoy their formula I have their Natural Born Stunner one, and then I have their Kissless Lip Gloss set, and I use all of those. Like, I literally rotate, and I use them. I really enjoy Morphe's Lip Gloss formula. So, let me take this off, and then we'll try on Share, which is this pinky one. Okay, so let's swatch the Share. You know what, you guys? I'm forgetting to do arm swatches for you guys. I'm so sorry. I tend to forget, but... This is the one that I tried earlier, which is called Overflow. And then this one is the sheer one. So this one does look like it has pigment to it. I mean, you guys already know how that goes for my lips, so mm, yeah. I would need a lip liner to go with these. It still works though. It just got very little pigment. Same thing, still got a scent to it, a very sweet scent. Um, can you guys see the pink? Just very little, right? It's like barely there. Still very, you know, smooth, comfortable, no problem with it. It's very little pigment. Actually, it wouldn't look half as bad right now that I'm looking at it. It wouldn't look half as bad if it had like a, a darker lip liner and then I think it would be okay. But as of right now, looking at my lips, like, no, girl, no. <laughs> so let me take this off and we'll swatch the next. So next we have Classic Babe. And Classic Babe looks like this fiery red color. 
like you can tell cherry red more like it but you know you can see that it's red it has that red tone in it so let me try it on my lips oh you could tell this is for dark skin because <laughs> you can see the red I don't think they gave a choice to buy them separately right you guys I think it just automatically came yeah it automatically came the set because if it came separately then I would definitely tell you guys as of right now that this if you're my color or darker I would definitely say snag this one up if you had to choose between all four of them this one seems to complement darker skin tones because you can see that it's red obviously um this will work for anybody actually not just this I'm just saying you know obviously it shows up on pigmented lips but this will work for anybody because it's red red works pretty much for anybody I mean if you're comfortable with red of course okay but this is what it looks like still very pretty still very comfortable this one actually feels a lot more comfortable than that pink one I don't know what it is but it feels more lightweight smooth in a way I don't know it's really hard to explain but this one actually feels more comfortable than that pink one so let me take this off and we'll do the last one which is this mocha shimmery one that's called tastemaker okay so next we're gonna do tastemaker tastemaker is this it looks between this rose colored brown and it has all these clear gold shimmers in it very pretty you guys like you know what that reminds me of I think they tried to make it like the actual color of coca-cola you know when you're pouring it in there like this brown <laughs> I don't know what the heck they were thinking this one actually kind of smells like coca-cola that's weird not like the other ones Ooh, I love this one. You guys, this is mine. This is, <laughs> this is my favorite. Oh my God. It's got this rose tone brown thing, bronze color going on with a lip liner. Like I'm wearing this later. Watch you guys. You guys are going to watch me on my Instagram. I'm going to have, I'm going to use my retro paradise, the darkest lip liner they had in that lip, uh, lip liner set. And I'm going to put this on top and it's going to look beautiful together because heck yeah. But look at this. On pigmented lips. Ooh, girl. Tastemaker. Mm-hmm. That's my jam. It's really nice. You can feel the shimmers very, very little though. Does not like, it's not like uncomfortable. You could just, you can, t you can feel them, but like I said it's not uncomfortable very nice colors I do love this one that one this one could still be used with the lip liner and obviously that one could still be used in general with or without lip liner it just depends how you're feeling if you just want to add like a little gloss glittery shimmer to your lips and you don't want you know any color that first one is perfect this complements so many skin tones all four of the colors actually do because you could still use it even if you're darker lip liner lip liner lip liner honey like <laughs> actually the red doesn't really need lip liner but you could use it either way so let me show you guys the the brush set so this is the brush set you guys it's called sweep it real seven piece eye and highlighter brush collection plus bag it came like this it has all of the seven brushes in the back that say glowing places highlighter brush high life brush made in the shade brush top secret camouflage brush take charge blending brush next move transition brush all in smudge brush sweep it real brush now i don't know if morphe knows this but a lot of us ain't makeup artists here high light brush what the f does that mean what does that mean made in the shade morphe <laughs> That doesn't mean anything to me. Like, what is wrong with you guys? Just say that it's a shade brush. Um, concealer brush. You didn't have to give these kids names. They're not kids. They don't feel. They're just brushes. Number five brush. Number six brush. You didn't have to go give them personalities. God. You know what, Murphy? You're already on my shit list because you took like a month. To give me this stuff and then you go on and make little special pet names for these brushes what's wrong with you guys seriously now I used for 
yeah, four of the brushes today. I used this, the fan brush for my highlighter today. I'm going to be honest and say I don't like fan brushes at all. Like, I don't see the purpose of this effort because technically I can use any big rounded brush for a highlighting brush. I mean, unless I am Bob painting happy trees on a canvas, that's the only way you would need a fan brush because fan brushes are used in painting to make trees, to make pine trees. You make that little details in the pine trees. Just FYF for you guys that don't paint. This, that's what fan brushes are used for. Fan brushes for faces are kind of useless to me. And I'm just being honest. It's a stupid brush. I don't see the reason to have that. I could have used this as a highlighting brush. Hell, I have two highlighting brushes that look just like this, but the brushes are more bigger. The bristles are more bigger. And they work just fine for highlighting. See how this is big enough? I could use this for highlighting right here. Right here. Doesn't matter where. It's big enough. It's fluffy enough. I didn't need the fan brush. Okay, Morphe? You're on my shit list. I already said this. Okay? But that's the second brush. It is like this huge blending brush. See how there's two sizes? Of these huge ones I just happen to use this one as my transition brush so there's a difference in sizing that is the third brush right there I use that one and then I use this for my concealer well my eyelid primer for my eye this is a flat concealer brush I'm pretty sure they gave it a random stupid name in there somewhere it's in there it's probably called made in the shade brush I don't know this is the smudger brush <laughs> I'm pretty sure the name hold on <laughs> What do they name this guy? He's all in brush. He's all in smudge brush. That's him. The all in. <laughs> it's just a little um, tapered blending brush. That's all it is. I'm pretty sure that's the one. If it's not that one, it's probably made in shade. I don't know. There's a bunch. Sweep it real. What the hell does that mean? I think this is the smudge brush because it's like a rounded kind of flat in a way. These are usually the ones that are used. I love these brushes. They're so soft though. I love it. That one's probably the, the smudge brush. I don't know. You guys take a guess, okay? This one is the, it's really flat. It's small. It's the, you know, it's like the little flat ones that people usually use for the inner corner highlights. But those are the last two brushes. It's, it's a seven piece right here. All these ones very pretty the bristles are really soft they're easy to work with I had no problems with them and they're pretty you guys really what you're buying is just because they're red and black and they're coca-cola that's what you're really buying you're buying the the actual look of the brushes you're not actually buying you know quality there I'm not complaining I'm just saying I don't like that <laughs> brush and I don't like that they named them like they're some kind of pets or whatever I don't know I'm just weird now this is the palette you guys the palette comes like this thirst for life artistry palette set it has coca-cola it says 18 shades of happiness let those good time vibes run wild babe from ice cold blues to iconic red to energizing neutrals this palette of powerful shades has a legendary life of its own so it's just eyeshadows and pressed pigments and then this is the actual palette it has coca-cola times morphe Thirst for Life Artistry Set. I love the packaging, honestly. Their artistry packaging is very pretty. It's cardboard. And then when you open it up, they have this. Now, you guys know I hate this. It has Coca-Cola Times Morphe and has all the names of the shades. And this is the palette. They have a huge mirror, like always. I love that they add that mirror, but kind of messes with my lights. So I don't really like it like that. And then the first shade we're going to swatch is called Fizz. I'm going to need this. I'm not going to put it up all the time, but I'm going to need to look down just to tell you guys the names of the shades. So we're going to start with Fizz over here. And Fizz is my inner corner highlight I used today. Fizz reminds me of that color from ColourPop. I think it's either Mama Odie or Frog and Wife. I think it's the Frog and Wife though. And it's just like this silvery shimmer with uh, like green in it. It has visible green in it. And I thought it... It really looked pretty on my inner corner highlight. I had no problems with that one. Next color we have Bubble Up. This is a light, a very light, van like pink almost, vanilla pink shade. 
I don't like it. I wouldn't use that. <laughs> I'm just being honest, I wouldn't use that, but as a transition shade for someone lighter skin, that makes like a perfect transition shade. Next to that, we have uh, Recognize, and Recognize is super light too. This is like a light peach, and I would still use that as a transition shade, or at least I would try to use it as a transition shade. Maybe it might not work for me, but it doesn't look like a bad color. Next to that one, we have the real thing, which is, ooh, I like this one. It's like a caramel brown. You guys see that? That's just one swatch. Very pretty. I like that color. That's a transition shade. That's perfect for me. Next to that one, we have Awaken. I love Awaken. Just by looking at her in the pan, I could tell she was for me. And now that I'm swatching her, she's like this golden bronze metallic shimmer, like Oh my God, doesn't it look like it has a hint of orange in there? Oh my God, that is a beautiful color. I could seriously rub her all over my eye and feel like I just, my life is complete. <laughs> Next we have Name Drop, and this is another equally very pretty, oh, it's like a mustard yellow brown almost. Very pretty. That is a beautiful shade. In the next row we have open up open up is a very i want to say it's like a it's like a sh maybe like a between a champagne and a gunmetal gray that is just one swatch this is two she does look like she takes a quite a building up but look on her own she is blinding look at that that's very pretty i love that they added some type of neutrals in here because clearly you could use the neutrals and create a very neutral you know like look it doesn't exactly have to be all reds like <laughs> every single look i've seen on youtube so far from this palette is pretty much all reds like every single person used red and even though i did use red down here i tried not to use red on the over eye i didn't want to do what everybody did so i was like i'm not gonna do what everybody did everybody's been using red and even though i love reds like i would seriously slap that red on my eye right now it's just i kind of wanted to go away from that i wanted to give you guys a different perspective of what you can do with this palette besides just red <laughs> So next to that, we have that blue I used, you guys, and she is called Cool Story. And like I explained later on in the video and the tutorial part, she is like an eyeshadow topper. She's like a, a super shock shadow from ColourPop. She does not stand out on her own at all. Definitely to get her to stand out the way I did, I had to pat her on and rub her on several times over. In order to get her to stand out you guys see her like how she's reflecting in the light but if you guys were to see her close up you would see that she is very an iridescent shimmer she is not like a solid shimmer where you just put it on your eyelid and it stands out on its own this one is so sheer that you have to build her up to let her stand out or you're gonna have to pack her on something on the bottom like a good base to make her stand out Next to that, we have Always Bright, and this is the first red in the, ooh, goo, honey. <laughs> she is like a, oh my God. <laughs> she is super pigmented. Look at that. I didn't get to use her today. I used the darkest red in the palette to do this down here, and I was like, dude, oh my God. <laughs> Next to her, we have Good in Red. This is the one that I used down here. I do mention later on in the tutorial part that, ooh, a little bit of fallout. Very pretty though. I had no problems with her. I just, I want to say be careful with me when you do use her because I feel like she's not exactly chalky, but she might blend out into either taking over the Hawaii so <laughs> just be careful with her I had no problems with down here but I did notice that she was um maybe it's because of the brush I use honestly too she kept getting thicker and thicker and I was like oh dude she's gonna take over I had to wipe some of her off to like thin her out you know but she's very pigmented she stands out a lot and I did mention later on in the video that after about 10 minutes she did like sort of lighten down so I had to repack her in there to make her basically just reincorporate her back into my eye look and right now as of the swatches i'm noticing that both of those reds like stained my fingertips so 
when I edit this, if it says up here it did or it did not stain, that's what you guys go by because that's what really matters in the end. The fingers are fingers, you guys, okay? If I did stain, I will put it up here because I will be editing this later and I will put up here if it stained my eyelid or not. Next to that, we have the glitter in here. And like I said later on, this glitter is called Pop Culture. It is the red. I do say later on in the videos that these glitters need a good adhesive. On their own, they do kind of stick. Like I got, I used the, some of the other glitter in here and I had to pat and rub her on just to get her to stay because she was sticking more to my finger. Like this one rubbed off because I pressed on it hard. Of course, I'm not gonna press on my eye, but like, <sighs> you know, <laughs> I'm not gonna do that to my eye. But I did have to like put significant pressure to my skin in order to get her to stay. So definitely if you're gonna do it on the eye, I would really strongly recommend an adhesive or a good like maybe, you know, eyeshadow primer or even a concealer. Something that has to be a little bit sticky or tacky to get it to stick on really better. And then next to that, we have the gold in here and she is called Ad Life. Look how pretty she is. I didn't get to use her today, but she looks very, she doesn't look like a solid shimmer. She looks a lot, reminds me a lot of that blue right here that I was saying, like an eyeshadow topper, but she does have a little bit more opaqueness to her. So she's not gonna need as much building up as this one. And then in the last row, the first shade in the last row is that glitter that I used on my eye and it is called Happiness. And this one reminds me, it's like basically like a shimmer and a, a gray, a very light gray. Very pretty, very blinding though. I did add her and she, you can't really tell I have her on honestly because she's being bombarded with so many other colors there that you can't even tell she's on there. Next to that we have Can Do, which Can Do reminds me of a gunmetal gray, honestly. It is just like this very slate gray. <sighs> Shimmer metallic. Very pretty though. I added her right here and all right here and across. Next to her we have Move It and this is a brown shimmer bronze color. Ooh, I love her. She is pretty. Look at that. Has a little bit of hint of like a maroon red. So she's not completely brown. And then next to her we have All the Fields. And this one looks like a brown too, but like on the maroon brown side, very pretty. That is like basically two swatches right there because the first time I was getting powdery on <laughs> But there is some fallout. It's not a big deal to me. Very little, not a lot. Next to her, we have Energetic. Energetic is the one that I use for my transition shade. I want to say that in the pan, those two right here, that's basically two swatches for both. Of them. They look almost the same, but this one has a lot more red pigment. You can see that it has a lot more maroon to it than this one does. So this would be like a perfect chocolate brown, and this is more like this chocolate color but with red pigment it has red pigment in it you can tell there's a difference between those two and then the last color in here it is this it looks like a chocolate like a dark I want to say uh, espresso brown but at the same time it looks like it has some kind of type of gray in it it's not completely brown for some reason it looks like a mud gray brown <laughs> If that makes sense. I mean, it's not a bad color, but it's not at the same time. It's like I thought it was like a dark espresso brown and it's not. It, it has a lot of gray to it, so it's not a complete brown. So that's pretty much it for the swatches today, you guys. Um, hopefully, like I said, it's not a bad palette. I really enjoyed it. I just didn't really enjoy having to build up that blue. <laughs> but other than that, if you guys want to see how I created this look today just stay tuned okay you guys for my first um color that i used on my eyes i used this color called energetic right here well they have this little you know you guys already know i hate that morphe does that but it doesn't seem like they're gonna get rid of it anytime soon so i have to carry this little thing to tell you guys what colors i'm using and um, I'm using the little Morphe brushes. This is like one of the, there's a thicker one bigger than this one, but I used like the semi smaller one than that. They have, a, I think it's, I don't know if it's a six piece brush set or more. 
you guys will see in the beginning of the video I'll show them off to you guys I mean it's taken so long for this to get to me I I'm not even sure hold on okay so I looked it up I ordered this whole the three piece I ordered the um the brush set the lipstick set the lip gloss set and then um the palette I ordered it June 18th the palette got here on June 24th but the brush set and the lip gloss set didn't get here until about three days ago which was July 15th <laughs> If you guys are keeping track of this, like literally almost an entire month just to get the brush set and the lip gloss set. It was ridiculous. And I was like trying to figure out what am I going to do, you know? Am I going to just I report this like not, you know, just didn't show up or whatever. It was it was sitting in San Leandro, California, and their little hub that they have down there was sitting there for a good um, 14 15 days just alone two weeks in that hub it did not move from there I kept getting no notifications I kept signing up for like I went to the actual website and signed up for notifications to my cell phone thinking like what if there's a glitch going on I don't know what's going on but something's going on I even tried to like look up some kind of you know they said that as long as it's in transit that you cannot report a missing claim or something stupid like that I was so irritated, you guys. I didn't know what to do. Like, it's frustrating. It wasn't getting here, and I was like, okay, what What do I do? You know, I ordered directly from Morphe.com. Do I report it to Morphe? Do I talk to... Or do I submit a claim with UPS? I don't know. And then, randomly, I got a little, you know, notification from the USPS, which, because this was... The brush set was and the lip gloss was originally sent through UPS Innovation, which eventually makes it to the postal service, and the postal service is what delivers it to you. That one takes twice as long. I don't know why why Morphe continues to do this, like UPS Innovations, because UPS Innovation takes twice as long as regular UPS delivery. It's dumb. It's honestly frustrating and dumb. But whatever. What do I know? Maybe it's cost effective. I don't know. So the next color I went in with, I went in with this blue right here. I mean, it looks like a blue, but it's between a blue and a purple shimmer. And this one is called Cool Story. I can tell you guys right off the bat that I do not like this formula. I don't like that formula, and I don't like the glitter in here at all. Like, that one right there is giving me super sip sip vibes from e.l.f. And you guys already know how bad that one was for me. It shows up. But it doesn't show up as that vibrant blue in there. It's sort of like a dual chrome because it gives me these blue and lilac purple vibes. It gives that shift in between. I mean, on the eye, I like how it looks on the eye. It's just, it's hard to explain. There's a whole bunch of fallout. I don't like the formula. <laughs> That's it. That's the only problem I had with that. I mean, it's it shows up, honestly, as an eyeshadow topper. It doesn't look like an actual consistent shimmer power you know a shimmer is like solid it you put it on and it shows up so well this one shows up super sheer you can actually see the color of my finger that's how light like the foundation is flaky for some reason I don't know how to explain it really good but this one is like an eyeshadow topper it is definitely not I mean you see right now how sheer it came out right not like this that's because that one, I, I had to put it on several times to build it up to that intensity. Other than that, it shows up like this the first time. It's just a little, little light topper. It's like a super shock shadow. And, um, yeah, I, I didn't like it. <laughs> okay, you guys, for my next color, um, I went in with this gray tone color right here that's called Can Do. Um, I'm not even sure if I showed you guys a close-up of that blue that I used. It's... Like I said, look you guys, it shows up very pretty on the eye. It's just frustrating that I had to go through so much of that trouble to build it up to that intensity. And even then, it's not like, it's not like a solid blue like where you can see, oh my god, it looks blue. No, it's like a shift of some type of 
iridescent purple and blues mixed in there. It's very pretty. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's beautiful. It's just, Jesus, if I have to work that much with you, like, come on, you guys. Elf, elf vibes. Elf vibes. I'm traumatized here. So I went in with that candy, which is, it reminds me a lot of a gunmetal gray color. Like, let me do like a real quick swatch for you guys. It reminds me of a gunmetal gray. And it has like a tiny bit of blue in there. Like the tiniest bit you can tell. This one is a shimmer. Straight up shimmer. But it works so well with a brush. Like I had no problems with the brush. And I just tapped it in this corner. I went across and then all on my bottom lid. I did point it out to like a little wing right here. Sort of like this little corner. And it's so pretty the way it mixed in with these ones right here. It made like its entire new color right there. <laughs> I don't know. I liked how it came out. It came out cute. I'm going back in with my transition shade, which was called Energetic. I'm going to go back in with that blue one that I used earlier. It's called Cool Story. I'm just tapping it back in. Now I did use a little bit of that um, I used a little bit of that glitter right there which I did not like at all. <laughs> like, the glitter in here is so thick that you honestly do need an adhesive to it. You won't get it to stick on your eye very much. Not by itself. So you're definitely going to need a glitter glue or some kind of like tacky, sticky base. Maybe if you had like a good concealer, but the concealer would have to be like have some kind of stickiness to forget it to stick. I don't recommend you using it by itself because like I barely did my, just my finger right here and I could not get it to like stay or at least apply liberally, you know, like so you could see it. So the glitter that I'm using is called Happiness. It's just this one right here in the corner. It is like um, a silver with maybe like a little bit of color in it. It's like champagne-y. And I honestly just tapped it right here in this corner, which didn't make a whole lot of difference. Like I could have seriously skipped this part out and not have shown it to you guys. But the fact that I did it on this eye already, I kind of don't want to skip. You know steps to it because maybe it does make a difference in the whole overall look I don't know but I do know like I said it, look I still have a whole bunch I don't even know if you guys could see that I still have a whole bunch on my finger you guys crazy amount on my finger and it's like not <laughs> not applying to my eyes so that's why I'm saying you're gonna have to need a get a, a definitely a good glitter girl for this I mean, it, it, when you swipe your finger in it, it looks like it does work. And it does sort of when you're patting it on there. I did like a patting rubbing technique to get it to like kind of like stay stay. And overall, it's not bad. But it did kind of like not. It did not stay. I mean, I had a. I still have a whole bunch on my finger, so it's like, okay, did you stay? Did you not stay? Did you just stick to my finger and not move after that? That's what I kept thinking the entire time. Like, I shouldn't have done this. <laughs> and then for this part of my eye right here, I went in with that red color in there that's called Good and Red. They have two reds in here. So this one is called Always Right, I believe, or Always, Always Bright. And this one is good and red. And this is the one that I went in with. It's a super dark red. This one next to it is just a red glitter, you guys. And like I said, this one's crazy too. Just like that other one. You have to like have a good adhesive. It looks like it has a good adhesive to stick on your finger. But not to stick on your face. So, <laughs> so I used this one. And I just honestly, I kind of liked it. And then I didn't like it at the same time because... As I started using it, when I first started patting it in this corner, I was like, dude, that is red. That is pigmented. It's really nice. So I liked it. And then after about, I want to say, 10 minutes of trying to get ready for to make the video on this side, this little red started fading. So I was like, uh-uh, no, you cannot do that to me. So I had to like reapply her on this side. I don't know if it's just me, honestly. 
Maybe it's just me. I don't know. And I had a lot of cleanup that I had to do with both eyes. Like, I seriously had to go with a wipe and wipe it down. So, you're going to have that too. Because there's going to be a lot of shimmery fallout from that blue shade right here. You're going to have a lot of fallout from that all over your cheeks. Just glittering it up there. Do your foundation after your eyes. <laughs> For my inner corner highlight, I use this corner color right here. That's like a shimmer. It looks like a white, but it's actually not a white. It has like a white with a little hint of a... looks like a green or blue. And it is called Fizz. I like it though. It looks like green. Honestly, you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of that color Mama Odie from the Disney ColourPop Disney Masquerade palette. It does remind me of that. I think it's Mama Odie or print or Frog Frog and Wife. I think it's a Frog and Wife actually. It looks like the shimmer and it has like a touch of green, so it's really pretty. I love the way it looks by itself. That's like a perfect shimmer compared to what that blue is. That's actually a better shimmer that this one right here, the Fizz. It makes a way better overall shimmer than that blue one. And that's pretty much it, you guys. Let me put on my mascara, and I'll be right back to give you guys a close-up. Okay, you guys, this is a finished eye look today. Hopefully, it looks good, and it doesn't look bad. But overall, it's not a bad palette. It's really actually pretty. Um, the only thing I didn't like is that obviously that blue color that I told you guys that has a crazy amount of fallout, and then it's hard to work up. But other than that, Really great palette, not bad overall. And let me back you guys out to give you guys my final thoughts. Okay, you guys, I'm back. And like I said, it's not a bad palette. It does have some good things. I actually like that fizz color. I like that shimmer. That shimmer worked really great. This one is looks really pretty. All these browns in there, I love. I love that they added, like the only one I could seriously see myself not using at all is this light cream shade that's like called Bubble Up. And then the one next to it that's called Recognize. And even then, I could use Recognize still in some way. It could still be used as a transition shade for me. So it's actually still doable. And then all the other ones I love in here. Like I said, you know, the glitters are not bad. Some of them, like that one kind of worked with me patting it and then rubbing it at the same time. So going like this. It does stick. But if you want it to stick really, really good, just use a, a glitter primer for both of the glitters in here. And those red, the red is fine. It, it was crazy pigmented. It's just, I saw later on that it started to rub off a little bit. Maybe it was just me because I'm oily, you know. But I just patted some back on there and it was just not a big deal. So, overall, really pretty. I really liked it. Um, I enjoyed it, at least. So, that's pretty much it for today, you guys. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video. And until next time, stay warm, stay blessed, and stay magical. Bye, you guys. <music>